What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Mavavi Video Editor Plus 2021 tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a really really cool intro for your videos because of course 2021 is around the corner and we want to actually improve our videos maybe with like a new banner a new profile picture on YouTube and of course if you want to do some like a little bit more of a rebranding a great new intro would also be a very good fit so if you guys also would like to request a topic for future Mavavi tutorials make sure to leave them down in the comments down below make sure to also also, smash the like button down below if you're excited for this video. And of course, let's go ahead and start creating a really, really cool intro in Movanvi Video Editor Plus right after the intro. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. And by the way, guys, if you want to read a little bit more about this software or you want to pick it up and, you know, try the trial version and eventually buy it, if you really think it could be a great value to your editing, make sure to check out the link down in the description. Everything is, of course, listed there so you guys can check it out after the video. So what I did is I just only prepared one thing for this entire intro, which is, of course, the intro music because this is of course a song that I used from NCS for I think two to three years now right now the drop comes right there at that snare hit of course, my uh, intro cuts off because otherwise it's pretty way too long because if I scroll out a little bit, this is the entire song. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to trim this song down so that we will have like the official uh, audio for our intro. So of course, we're not going to use the official song. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click right here on the edge with my mouse. So then we're going to shrink it down a little bit. And of course, like I always use, we want to have like a little bit of a fade in while I'm talking, while we're going to the drop. So we're going to also play it back right now. I think this is a pretty good length. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and trim the actual song down and also add in the fade in, of course. So how you fade in audio, it's pretty simple. And it doesn't exactly work with like, you know, creating like this fade in that, and the line that appears in your audio, like in Vegas, you want to basically work with volume points. So of course you will start off with zero. And then when the drop comes, you want to put that one 200. So we have a nice fade in. So how you do that? So I'm going to right click right here on the audio, add volume point, And I'm going to drag this volume point all the way right here to this where the drop comes and then you want to go to the clip properties and right here we have fade in so now we're going to drag this guy all the way up and let's hear what it sounds like right now a nice fade in And that is, of course, the full, you know, volume for your intro. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we need to do is we need to also trim down the audio. So I'm going to go to the very end of the song and I'm going to grab that last part. Right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press Control B on our keyboard so we can cut it. Then we're going to trim away this entire middle part of the song because, of course, we don't need that. And then we're going to basically match it up with the end part. So we're going to drag it across and let's go ahead and time it right now. All right, it's a little bit too early. So let's drag this guy to there. A little bit too early. All right, perfect. So now we need to actually fine tune this a little bit. So right here, as you can see, this is just a snare head coming from that track. So we need to trim this down and place it against it right here. Otherwise, we will have like two like snare heads and we want to just basically have one smooth one. And we're going to also add in a fade out. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can be a little more precise. But then, of course, we're going to click on add volume point. And right now it is at 100. And then we want to basically add in another volume point right here. And then we're going to drag this volume point all the way down. So as you can see, we're going to also trim away this part at the very end. And then right here, you see this really, really nice line, meaning that it's going down, which basically means a fade out. And that is basically the audio for that part. And as you can see, if I play it back, we have a nice fade in. All 
All right, perfect. But as you guys can notice, right here, this actually looks like it's really, really long as an intro because right here we're, we're approaching 30 seconds. But of course, this is basically the part that we want to go and, you know, put our animations on from here to here because this is actually the outro part and this is just a black part where we'll be talking, where we have like regular footage. So this is only just a small section that we need to provide with footage. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go to, for example, a different kind of background that you want to have your name on because you gotta imagine like what do you want to have and what do you want to see in your intro so for this video we're not gonna be for example like really too boring and too basic so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sh first show you guys how to create like some really really you know subtle titles so right now if you go to this icon which says titles now if you go to all right here we have this entire menu or where we want to have for example our name appear and it's all pre-animated for you so let's go ahead and drag in for example this one so now we're going to drag that onto our timeline and let's go ahead and match it up oh and guys by the way if it's actually stuck on your timeline for example if you want to move this clip for example to right here but it's stuck right here and you can't move it you want to click on this icon until it is like you know striped through it so now we can move it freely in our timeline so let's go and time it up let's make it a little bit longer All right, perfect. So now that we have this one, how you can customize it, you want to double click on it and then it will open up the clip editing menu where of course right now it says friendship, but now we can change it for example to my own YouTube name. And of course it's a little bit too big. So we're going to drag this you know, icon a little bit to there. And then we're going to make sure it's nice and centered across the entire screen. So of course we can change up the font if you want to. So we're going to select all the text and then we have our font menu right here. So let's say that we're going to pick this one. Now we need to make sure it's nice and centered again. So let's play it back. Now, of course, it is black underneath it, so we're going to right click on here and we're going to insert a new video track. So add extra track, add video track. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a nice background. So right here we have like filters. So of course, we have like light leads effects on it. So if you want to keep it simple, you can drag, for example, this light leak effect. We can, of course, drag in like intro templates if you want to go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and drag in a nice background. So right here we have many different ones, such as the sunset. We have some space we have a camera so I think many different ones on top of each other would look nice so let's go and pick this space one so let's drag that into our timeline but as you can see right now we can also make like color grading adjustments by for example clicking on this one which is called filters and then you can go to all at the top and then we can choose like you know multiple multiple different ones we can drag that as you can see on top of our clip to really make it stand out for example like that or different ones you can totally customize a little bit so let's say that we're going to drag on this guy but i think i want to have the background a little bit more blurred so we're going to go to this blur option and we're going to pick a one which is kind of like not too much let's say we're gonna pick the tilt shift top so now it looks really cool that the bottom part is blurred and the top is sharp so let's play it back and i think you need to accent it off a little bit we're gonna go to the titles one and right now we're gonna look for these four squares that you have in the corner of a camera that is like recording so let me check where that is so right here it says camera so let's drag that on top of it as well you want to make sure that you put every single asset above your background which is right here so you can simply you know drag it and change position so let's play it back and let's see what it looks like All right, it looks really, really nice. And then you can completely customize it to your wants and needs. So if you wanna do it like this, it looks pretty, pretty solid. But of course you can go to this menu where it says the sample videos, and then you can have multiple ones. You can have flames, you know, for example, going over it if I drag that into my timeline as it's loading right now. So let's do it like this, as you can see, and then just place that underneath it. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> 
looks really, really tight, guys. And of course, you can customize it even more with different titles, different backgrounds, different music. You can add in light leak effects onto your background. So this is how to create a really cool intro. And if you want to see like, oh, you can do it better, make sure to go to also to the website where you can pick up like templates for really, really cheap. I'll also leave the link down in the description to the website. Also, make sure to send me your, you know, videos that you created, your intros on Twitter at Alex Halford. And don't forget to tag Movavi as well. So of course we can see it. So guys, that's it. And this is how you can create a really cool intro in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. All right, guys. So that is, well, what's basically in my eyes, a really cool intro. You guys, of course, may have different opinions. You guys want to maybe have a little less simple, a little less complicated or complex. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you find this video helpful. And now you can know how you can create a really, really cool custom intros. Make sure to reward it with a, a like down below. Thanks a lot for the continued support, guys. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next one.